Hi there, and welcome back to the M5 Stack official channel. On a previous episode, we showed you how to use the M5 and relay module to control a light switching on and off. But that kind of switching on and off tends to get a little bit boring. We can do better than that. This is the second in a series that we're doing on IoT lighting. In future series, we'll also go on to show how you can control more of the lights in your house and the objects in your house, such as a fan, even with your mobile phone. But for this mid-level of the series, we're going to show you how you can use the light sensor to control your light. We all care about saving energy, and this can be the perfect way to only turn your light on when it's needed. So first, we're going to need this kind of simple desktop lamp that comes with a switch like this. First, I'm going to unplug it. And we need to have some basic tools, such as some wire strippers or some snips, a screwdriver, and we'll be putting the wires from this case into our uh, relay module. So first we'll go about pulling this apart. You could use the clips to push into the hole, making sure you don't press into the wire just to open a little bit of the case. And then once we've made an opening, you can slide it open. And there we go. Now we can see the switch inside. And the red wire here is connected through the switch. So we'll also be needing these two wires to press into the relay. We'll also need to remove the switch part. Okay, there we have it with our two exposed wires. And now we can start to put them into the relay module. On the relay, you'll be able to see that there's three ports. There's COM, which is the common pin. There's NO, which means normally open. And NC, which means normally closed. If we want the light to stay off, most of the time, if the sensor is interacting with it, we should put one wire into normally open and the other wire into normally closed. And we'll need to put it into these screw terminals which come with the kit. So let's go and put those wires in. That's one wire into COM and I'm going to stick this other wire into normally open. And there we are connected. Now I'm going to connect this to port B on the M5 stack with the Grove cable. If you have the core, don't worry, we'll be putting a schematic in the comments section so that you can connect it up to your core. But for the Grove, for the M5 Go, we'll be connecting it to the black port, port B. Okay. And we're also going to need uh, a light sensor. A light sensor, which is also sometimes known as an LDR, uh, can sense different levels of light and it changes the resistance depending on how much light shines upon it. So we'll attach this to port A. And there we go. Now all that's left to do is to do the coding. First we need to go to the UI flow interface which some of you are familiar with. We go there by going to flow.m5stack.com. And for those who haven't seen this interface before, just a brief introduction, we have our coding area here, our blocks here, 
and our UI interface here. So first what I'm going to do is drag a label in so that we can see the value from our light sensor on the screen of the M5. And then over here I've already added a unit but you can also remove that. Here is where we add our units. Units are the, all the kind of sensors and different inputs and outputs that we can use with our M5. We'll find the light at the bottom there and I'm going to attach it to port B. Okay. And now you notice over here units we have light. If we didn't add it anything there wouldn't be any, anything in this units column here. Now we have two values that we can choose get light analog value and get light digital value. Well, we want to see a range of the values that our uh, light sensor is putting in. So I'm going to use this one. Then I'm going to use this label, which refers to this text that I've just dragged down here. And then we'll put it in here. And if we disconnect it like this, setup, as some of you may know, it only runs the code once. So that's no good. I want to continuous update of what the light sensor is detecting and so I'm going to put it inside a loop okay now if we run that it will show the value of the light sensor on our screen you can try that if you like but I'm going to start programming the logic to control our light bulb so I'm going to go into logic blocks and get an if do block this accepts the condition and then does whatever uh, you want it to based on if that condition is true or not. So we want to get that light value and check if it's below a certain level and then um, basically turn the light on if it's below the level that we set. So we're going to need another one of these and also in the logic blocks we're going to need this comparator and so in the first one we're going to put if light value is less than or equal to and then maths I'm going to put the value 60 it might differ depending on the light setting in your um, where you want to use the light but I'm going to use this you can play around with that setting and also you can adjust the value a little bit on the sensor itself with a screwdriver okay and then in here to control the relay there's no unit over here we need to go into pin and then choose the digital right pin okay and I'm going to attach the relay to pin port C and the two digital outputs of and inputs of the port C are 16 and 17 and so the one I'm going to use is 17 you can check the manual or check in the docs for the different ports port numbers uh, of the pins inside each of the a B and C ports on your m5 go okay so I'm gonna need to tell it to turn on which is one if the light level is below that and then else, like if, if it's still bright, uh, if the level hasn't gone down below the threshold, then just tell it to stay off. Okay. And that's about it. Let's uh, play this and test. Okay, now we've finished with our coding. Let's see what happens on the M5 stack. The label that we put on in the UI flow interface showing the level of light that is coming through on the sensors and when that light goes below the threshold that we set in the code this light will turn on like this the light sensor when it goes down to a low level of light that we set in the code it triggers but I think we should test it in the dark and see what happens if we put it towards the light as well. So let's test it out. Lights please. So over here, the light is stable, it's on. It's in the low level of dark, but if I bring it over here, we get flashing, like a disco.
Hope you had fun designing this circuit, and maybe you can think of some other uses for this circuit. If you have any comments, please leave them down in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.